Hi guys, it's Ginger. So I just wanted to show you real quick a little uh, haul I got from Michaels today. Um, I got a ton of glitter and some new backgrounds and I just wanted to share that with you. Uh, give you maybe some ideas for doing some videos um, for these backgrounds. These are um, like in the scrapbooking section. I guess they're like I, I, I don't know, backgrounds for your pictures and scrapbooking. I never really got too big into scrapbooking, so I don't know. But this one is uh, kind of textured, but the glitter is flat, and it doesn't come off all over your hands like a bunch that I have already. So that's really nice. This is gorgeous. It's just a large square. Let me see if I can zoom out for you guys. So... I don't know if you can kind of get an idea of how big it is, but I picked up a few different ones of these. So yeah, this one is the really pretty glitter, and then this one here, it's in a plastic sheet, so I'm not sure the texture of it. Take it out real quick and see. So this one is gorgeous oh my gosh is that pretty it's really smooth but it looks very glittery and it's a lot thinner than the last one it came with a piece of cardboard behind it which made me think it was a lot thicker than it actually is but that's okay um, I actually might just stick it back in that plastic sheet to protect it but I think this will be gorgeous for backgrounds so pretty so take that out of the way this one here is very textured, like the first one, but again, well no, this one, this one kind of comes off and gets on your hands a little bit, but I guess don't rub it too much and it won't do that. <laughs> uh, yeah, but this one's real thick like the first one, and it's really pretty and sparkly, so I like that. And then I picked up just a couple of these. These ones are just paper. Um, they're not the thick cardstock like the other ones. Uh, but yeah, I got some pretty little hearts and some balloons. And this one is so cute with the little mustaches. Adorable. And this one, I'm not sure how this is going to look on camera once I get it all zoomed in. Sorry about the bumpiness. There we go. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. Um, sometimes, especially blue backgrounds, really throw off the lighting on my camera. It makes all the colors kind of off, so I kind of try to watch what colors I put down. But I think this might look really pretty. So that's the first part. Um, these are really inexpensive, and I got a lot of these on clearance. Some are like $0.69. Cents and some are like 99 cents so for like a background especially if you're going to zoom in you're not going to see you know all the stuff around it you're just going to see this little spot here these make really great backgrounds and being so cheap if you did get something on it it's not a big deal so really good idea for video backgrounds and then what i actually went there for was glitter so i grabbed these little guys here um these three are the same, and then I've got this one here. Uh, I got this one mainly for this one glitter in here because I could not find this color in a bulk size or anywhere else. It was only in these little packets. But it's like a holographic purple. It's so pretty. <laughs> so, yeah, I got three packs of those, and I'm definitely going to be making some glitter mixes. Of course, I've got these. Um, these come from, like, uh, Walmart, and these are very inexpensive. They're little tiny packs as well, uh, but their color range isn't quite as large as what Michaels has. So yeah, uh, got those. And then this one for the neon colors. And it's got some little stars and hearts, which are really cute too. So picked that one up. And then these guys here. And I got this one in particular because the nails I just did for a friend of mine um, out of this pack there was a color right here and that is this one and I used a bunch of it because these packs are pretty small um, 
So I wanted to get more of just that color because it's really pretty and it goes with a lot of the gels that I have. So I picked up one of these so I would have it for those. And then this is just a light purple, really pretty. And then I got some uh, large hexes. Are those hexes? Yeah, I think so. Um, like pink, purple, blue, kind of my favorite combo of colors. Love that so much. And then um, I got this one here. And this has just got a bunch of different glitters in it. And I picked this one up mainly for this color right here. Um, it looks like it's showing up kind of purpley-ish, but it's more of a like a gunmetal kind of gray. Uh, silver it's really pretty and then of course the black hollow that's gorgeous so I also couldn't find a bigger container of just this either isn't that the way it goes right <laughs> and these little guys here um, this one I thought was so pretty it's very close to this one but it's not really it's not hollow it's just got pinks and blues and purples in it and really pretty but it's not a holographic like this one is see the rainbow shiftiness oh my gosh it's so pretty okay I never get anything done with glitter in front of me I swear and then this one right here this one's kind of hollow and yeah it's called vintage blue it definitely looks silver on camera it's a lot more blue it's like a very light light blue it's very pretty this one's called Vintage Pink, and that one's showing up pretty accurately. It's just a very light pink with uh, small and large different size chunks in it with some hollow glitter. So I thought those were really pretty. And then I grabbed some of these little guys. Just some uh, storage container things for glitter mixes so I can make some mixes and have something to put them in. I have some little blue ones that I got from uh, like Walmart and they were like I don't know, 99 cents for two of them and the lids don't screw on and off very well plus I couldn't find any clear ones. So these are nice and these are much larger too so I can do some pretty nice glitter mixes in here and be able to keep them and I'll be able to see what they look like. So I'm so excited I can't wait to make some mixes. And the last thing I grabbed were some crystals because I couldn't help it. Um, I know you can get these online a lot cheaper than what I paid at Michael's, but I went ahead and grabbed them because they were there. <laughs> and they're so pretty. So I got, these are just like the uh, clear ones and these are kind of pink. I don't know. I don't think these are AB. Maybe these are the AB ones. And then there's these, which kind of look like the AB ones, but I think these are more of a, like a purple, it's almost like a purple green chameleon, almost like what I have on my nails right now. Huh. Yeah, that's pretty neat. So that is what I got from Michaels, guys. And I just wanted to share that with you. Um, maybe you didn't know they had some of this stuff and the little backgrounds. I think that's really cool. And a great idea for like changing up your background every once in a while. I like to uh, change it up depending on what kind of nail design I'm doing. Kind of like match it to a theme or something. But yeah. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, any questions, leave them in the comments below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.